Okay, Google. How do you pronounce S P I G E N? That's pronounced Spigen. Okay, in the last video, we took a look at some screen protectors that I did not use, although I might do a video on these. The Spigen case, which thank you Google for the help on pronouncing. And we looked at the, the, the case from Google. Now, I just took this case off, and I wanna show you something that is going to show up if you're using the Pixel 2 XL. Look at this, uh, look at this cruft right here. This is, uh, just from your jeans and your pants and just dust in general with this curved screen everything It has a it has you know this lip in here that catches and It is going to catch all that lint in there. So that I'm not terribly happy about that But man, it is what it is. So new cases Another Spigen. This is I think one of the clear little bendy ones. We've got a wallet case I wanted to take a look at and Man, I don't even know how to pronounce this one, but I thought it looked cool. Let's just start with that, all right? Tear here. Make sure you check this channel because I did do another case uh, demo. And I also did a trick or treat with the Pixel 2 XL to see if I was gonna keep it or not. So what are we doing here? There's a film to remove on the outside. Notification. Please remove both the inner and outer protective layers before use. Peel gently, starting from the camera cutout and pull down. All right. We will do that. Maybe we can edit this. Got it. Ah, see, there is another one in there. Is there a pull tab? see bubbles on it. So I have yet to find a screen protector that really wows me, but this is this is a problem I had with both the Pixel and the, the Nexus 6P. I remember I bought one on the 6P and it covered the uh, the proximity sensor. I couldn't hang up calls. It was, it was crazy. All right, so let's look at this one. I bought this one as a smoke and I believe it came in a clear as well. This is called Smoke Black. Let me give these guys their proper... There it is. All right, let's get the phone in it. Did I show you? It's... It's not quite jelly. It's... Kind of firm. All right, let's look at this. So no cutouts, but the buttons work really well. I hope we're focusing here. It's a problem with my YouTube camera here. It does have a, almost looks like a cutout for focus for a hand strap. And then the back. I like this one. I'll have the prices for you. Let's see. Yeah, I can find, I can, you can find the fingerprint sensor easy enough. So that's nice. So that's ring key. Ring key? Ring key. All right, let's try to get it out. A different one. Maybe we can edit this too. Jesus. Let's try the Spigen. So this is another slim and soft which i usually don't like these things at all but every once in a while they have their uses right and when you can get them for eight or nine dollars it's nice to have something on standby in case you know like i said earlier you go to the amusement park or something you put a nice um put a protective case on it so in a situation where there's a stain they're getting all designed in California on us. It's also got some printing here, if I can get a focus. Yeah, I should be holding this back, there we go. All right, so let's take a look. This is the Spigen 
slim and soft liquid crystal. This may also come in different colors. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. Here's the shot that you want though, right? And the glass wraps down in pretty good. This may actually block a lot of that lint problem. All right, let's go for the next one. Now let's look at Case. Okay. Case, mobile care. So this is a, a wallet case, which I generally do not carry, but I thought it would be cool to take a look at this one. This one looked, I don't know, executive looking. Doesn't that look executive? Uh, it's, it's got the whole, yeah, I know. Hate it or love it, right? Let's look at the back. There's a little place for your credit card. There's no bevels around the fingerprint. So let's pop it in. This is very squishy. Oh, check this out. On this side, where the, uh, the SIM card is, there's some kind of little, maybe that's the mold. Uh, cutouts here. Oh, okay, get it in the right way, Dave. Jeez. Okay. I guess you would turn off ambient if you, I guess not, you could keep your ambient on because you want to see the clock. And then you can close it and it's got, I can't even see, this is not even lined up. Check this out. So the speaker cutout is not even lined up with the speaker here. So hello new new uh, case manufacturer. They didn't get a demo unit I suppose. So take it for what it's worth. The microphone cutout works. The buttons cut out are centered. So, ooh. Yeah, not so much. I don't, I don't. I don't like this at all. I mean, it looks cool, right? I probably put a sticker on it. Probably put my podcast sticker on it. Something like that. It's kind of hard. I mean, I got to the fingerprint reader, okay, but it's kind of hard to get to it. Maybe we'll give this one away. Maybe we'll give all these away. I don't know, I went back to the Google case, even though I still find it slippery as heck. But I still like this, kind of this dual protection speed, and it's got the plastic, and it's got the rubber. Nothing's wowing me right now. I may use this one. What was this first one? This wasn't, crap, I'm gonna have to look now. Here's the package, that's the case, it's ring key. I think I'm gonna use this one. All right. Hit a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Got tons of stuff on my YouTube channel. It's just a general tech channel, but every time I get a new phone, I like to put it through its paces with cases and, and things. I like this one. You can see the G. So next up, I'm gonna do screen protectors. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do this thing, maybe not. Hey, we'll see you on the next one, thanks.